What is up, people? Mr. Falior here, bringing you another video. Welcome to a brand new playthrough. Basically, a blind playthrough. As the last time I played this game was on the Xbox 360, and I barely did anything. I did a lot more side quests. I did probably like 15, 20 side quests and only like three main story quests before I stopped playing. So I barely know anything. Um, hopefully the music is loud enough to hear, but not too loud overall. I'm going to try that. We'll see. Maybe. But the voice I'll probably put all the way up. Um, and we'll try that. I'm really hoping I can leave the radio on because I do know some of the radio stations are good. Um, but I don't want it copyrighted. So we'll try it. Hopefully you can hear me through the music. If not, I'll change it in the next episode. Without further ado, basically a blind playthrough of Fallout 3. I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart In my heart I have but one desire and that one is you no other will do i've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim i just want to be the one you love and with your admission that you feel the same I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of being complete. I Bethesda Game Studios presents Fallout 3. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, Blood has been spilled in the name of everything, from God, to justice, to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. In the early days, Thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters 
known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. I'm not touching that. Uh, boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Um, well, funny thing is, uh, if uh, I'm just going to go by my username, well, at least part of it, which is half of the, the game title. Fall. Except it's Fal in this case. Falior. So instead of Mr. Falior's life or Mr. Falior's gaming, it's just going to be Falior. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Um. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is more of a basic... Which I, I do like more basic styles. Because uh, it's difficult for me to really... Uh, go through a bunch of options. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I really don't. Most of the time you're not going to see your character anyway. Hairstyle. I actually like that hairstyle. I like the hair color too. It's it's fine. Okay, let's try let's try facial hair. Sure. There you go. Look at how handsome. Yep. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? A... Catherine? James. Catherine! She's in Something's... cardiac arrest. Start compression. Things... Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? You... We need a doctor, not a dentist. One year later. I'm able to meet my expectations no, and there will look be look straight into the light now. James and its cheerly chatter. Your future is bright and cozy. This place will feel just like Come home. on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. My mom's dead. Ooh. Daddy. You can do it. Daddy. Just a little further. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is over here at first of the fountain of the water of life freely. Revelation 21 6. What? Over here. That's funny. You could try to pick the door as a baby. Come to daddy. I'm an exploration Just baby. 
There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. He needs me to take care of myself at one years old. Wow. Children are the future. Good citizens raising good citizens. I did exit the playpen. Dada. Can I jump? I, I can jump as a baby. What the heck? Grab a toy from the po toy box. Look at it and press... Oh. Oh. S is for strength, and that means I am strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. P is for perception, a long, funny word. It means what I tasted, smelled, saw, and heard. E is for endurance, and that's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day. C is for charisma. It's why people think I'm great. I make my friends all laugh and smile and never want to hate. I is for intelligence. It means I'm really smart. I use my brain for lots of stuff like science, math, and art. A is for agility. That's how I get around. I move real fast and easy, and I never make a sound. L is for luck, and it's simple. You see, it means that good things always happen to me. Ooh. Um... I feel like I should do that. I I do want better luck, but at the same time, um, intelligence sounds like a good thing. What happens if I lowered my luck and put it into like charisma or something? Is that bad to lower my luck? To do that. Because I'm going to do it. There we go. Let's see if I made a bad choice. Lockpick skill of 100. Now what do I do? Oh. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Is his voice loud enough? I hope so. Doesn't sound very loud to me. I'm one, remember, and I'm walking like this. That doesn't make much sense. Uh-oh. Nine years later. Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As Overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Ooh. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once. 
So have fun. Thank you, Dad. Oh man, you got a pit bull. Happy birthday! <laughs> we really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Wow. You didn't fool me like me, I just pretended not to know lie. Great party, Amada. Thanks for doing this for me. Is this it or hasn't the real party started yet? Okay, great party. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I have no idea. Um, a date with Christine Kendall. Just give me the present already. I don't know. Ha! I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Boy, I wish okay. I was ten. Do you though? Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's gone soft on us. Ooh. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> happy birthday. Wow. Uh, sign up now for Saturday's baseball game in the our, our atrium. We still need a short stop to even out the teams. Lost one copy of Dean's Electronics. I found. Please return to Stanley. Wednesday's bingo night in the diner. First prize is a week's supply of water rations. Wow. If anyone wants a tarot card reading, you know where to find me, Beatrice. Enter the annual Vault 101 Bake Off. Bunt cakes only. Um, is there a way to check? I don't know if there's a way to check um, my quest list. Enjoying yourself? Happy Officer birthday, Gomez, Sonny. thank you. How did you do that while you were drinking? Happy birthday. Yep. I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. For some reason? Of course she likes me, I'm a really charming guy. She did a great job, but couldn't you have helped out a bit more? Um, I don't know which one sounds nicer. <laughs> I'll do that. I do not allow the fact that Amata is my daughter to compromise my position as overseer. I gave her all the appropriate paternal encouragement, of course, but I could not contribute extra vault resources. That is simply what my position requires. No more, no less. I know Amata understands that perfectly well. Hey, okay. Happy birthday, Another youth Nosebleed. well <laughs> on his way to becoming a productive vault citizen. Old Lady Palmer. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you didn't have to bring me a present, Miss Palmer. I hope you brought me something better than last year. Oh, damn. You didn't have to bring me a present. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Attention, everyone. It's time to cut the cake. Andy, A sweet Andy. roll. Oh, good job. Oh, no. I am mortified about the cake mishap. Simple. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. 
Hell no. Miss Palmer said I didn't have to share since it's my birthday, and how about we share it? Half for me, half for you, that's fair, right? You can have it. I don't even like sweet rolls. Uh, sure, Butch, spit on the sweet roll and give it to him. Go soak your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. You do look hungry. What, your mom drank up all the ration coupons again? Oh, damn. Half for you, half for me. How about we share it? What are you, five? Give me that sweet roll I'm gonna pound you. You can have I don't even like sweet rolls. Spit on it. Go suck your head. Uh, I'm not giving you my sweet roll. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Uh oh. Be sorry. Okay, let's see. One quest completed already. Okay, cool. Can I level up my skills yet? No. Oh, I can read this. Oops. Oh, melee weapons increased by one. Oh, okay. I should have just ate the sweet roll in front of him. Hold still, Punk. Oh. Butch, what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. Official. What are you looking at? You alright, son? I'm not sure anyone he didn't hurt you, did he? No, he missed. People always enjoy my little speeches. Besides, that friend of yours could use a reminder that life is not all fun and games. Nice party. Ugh, this is supposed to be a party, you know? Fun? You should I try it sometime, Daddy. I'm mortified about the cake missing. What's Butch's problem, anyway? I can't believe he tried to start a fight at your own birthday party. What a jerk. He's lucky Gomez stopped the fight before I really heard him. The jerk tried to steal my sweet roll. It was kind of my fault, you know how easy it is to make Butch mad. Your dad, the overseer. Your dad's the overseer. Can't you talk to him about Butch? Um, sure. Come on, don't ask me that. You know he would if I asked, but where would that leave me? It's bad enough being the overseer's daughter. If everyone knew I ran to daddy every time I had a problem, Nobody would ever talk to me again. That's true. We'll think of some way to get Butch back, I promise. But I'm not getting my father involved. He can literally hear you, but okay. Do you think we surprised him? So, what do you think we should I'm call sure our game? He's gotta be never totally suspected a thing. Who wants to go now around go all day being called yourself. a vote the will or something? I think yourself? you really are as Thanks dumb as you look. Stanley. I know you were busy no. with the water yeah. purifier. I got one. This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Everything's fine, oh, geez, I hope. Wally. Who's the head of the game? Oh, you me. No way. I'm gonna take your plate. There you go. Happy birthday! I'm gonna take your fork. You I'm gonna take right? your coffee mug. Anyway, I'm glad you can make it. Thank you. Oh, you were talking to them. Can I wear one? Equip. There we go. I'm equip. I, I'm wearing it. Cool. Okay. Oh, baby steps and growing up fast. Okay, cool. Okay, good to know. Can't really do anything with these, but oh well. I'm keeping it. How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I help with the decorations, you know. I can't take the paper. Oh, really? Okay. They're lovely. How's it going, pal? How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? It's alright. Seems kind of old, though. I hate it. How do I get it off? Wally said my pet boy was a piece of junk. It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Sure, whatever. Did you bring me anything for my birthday? Yawn, that's really, really interesting. Okay. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. 
Baseball cap. Oh. Okay, cool. I'll wear that. Are you all right? Is Butch giving you a hard time again? Don't worry, Dad. I can handle Butch. He tried to take my sweet wall Miss Palmer gave me. Actually, I was the one that started it. It's easy to make him mad. Now, I'm going to tell him. I wish we didn't have to invite him, but there just aren't that many children your age in the vault. In any case, you'll have to learn to deal with bullies. The world is full of people much worse than Butch, I'm afraid. But don't let him ruin your birthday. Go on. I bet there's someone else waiting to give you a present. The I'll punch him in the face. Well, it's okay. You really are as dumb as you look, you? Sounds like a washing oh. machine. Oh. Look, Butch. I don't think his puny arm is strong enough to lift that pit boy. You and your snakes and rats and wizards. Nice party. Oh, never mind. Jonas? I can't believe my mom made me come to this we'll stupid party. Here. Thanks. I'll send him right down. How's it going, pal? Hey. That was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Happy birthday! Okay. You mean Jonas on the reactor level? Okay. There's apartments over here. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and Amada threw me a great party, didn't they? I'm not a girl, and I'm not five. Stop calling me deary. Yes, can I have my present now? No, yes, dad and Amada threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion... Do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem just for you. I hope you like it. Wow. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Um, thanks, I guess. Did you get me anything else? A poem? You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna say this one. Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. A poem. Wow. That's exactly what kids want. Uh, I don't see it in the items. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation, little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy, daddy, am I dead? Nay, nay. Reborn into the purifying fluorescence. A face emerges strong and male, father to me, father to all, overseeing our lives, our eternities, harshness of discipline, harshness of love, obedience, my savior, larva to pupa, pupa to worker, buzz, buzz, one with the steel honeycomb, ten lies within the 101, significant at last, till gray seeps from walls to hair to soul, then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. What the heck? You wrote that to a kid? Oh my god, she's horrible. Wow. Um, what about the Tuttle rats? Were our rats tough enough? I hope you're having a good party. Yeah, I am. Oh, the overseer, okay. Clinic. Okay, I'm supposed to go that way. Aww. Oh, I can close the door if I want to. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm 10 years old. Can it, Jonas? Where's my surprise present, present already? Oh, but Dad told me it was okay to come down here. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're 10... You don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Okay. And 
Oh, there he is. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Uh, here? We can't shoot a gun here. What do I get to kill? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Okay. Um, weapons. No. Oh. Got it. Cool. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is so great. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Whatever shotgun would... Okay. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Okay. I'll thank him now. Where'd he go? Okay, he's gone. Oh. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Thanks a lot, Jonas. This is really cool. Didn't you give me a real gun? A baby gun is kind of lame. I guess so. I'm just not that into shooting thing. Thanks a lot, Jonas. Hey, you don't turn 10 every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. Okay. Eh? Ooh, sensitivity. Ooh, wow. Sensitivity is really strong. Dang. Okay. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just Oops, I missed. Uh, enter vats. Oh. Okay, welcome to the vault tag vats. Displays the chance you will hit along with the condition of each body part. Okay. Can I aim for its head? I want to try to aim for its head. Oh, I got one headshot. Cool. I missed. There you go. Oops. How do I... Oh. Is there a way to... Good work. Ooh. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas. Get a picture of me with a big game hunter. How do I reload? Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, God. Smile. Boys and girls have different parts. Six years later. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. If you say so, Dad, but I'm really sick, lie. Anything I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We're born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? If you say so, Dad. Uh, do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, 
It's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have, because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Is it true Dad was everyone born in a vault? That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Can we talk about, you know, Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all... Most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah... She had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Future imperfect. If you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now. So this year, you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. Come on, pal. You're fine, and you know it. You're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So, you need to get to class to take your goat exam. No excuses. Okay. Take care, son. Patient files. Ooh, Freddy Gomez. <clears throat> Freddy's UDS is getting worse. Most days he can't even get out of bed. When he does manage to function, Freddy hides his insecurities and low self-esteem behind a bully's mask. Vault tech medical protocols dictate the prescription of anti-anxiety medication when Vault's depressive syndrome is involved. But do I really want to string the kid out on a or promazine. I don't know how you say that for the rest of his life. Stanley. Stanley continues to suffer from severe and chronic head pain. I've been feeding him aspirin like it's candy, but I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. He blames the lightning, the lighting in his quarters, and though his eye strain is certainly compounding the problem, the headaches are actually a symptom of overwork and lack of sleep. Knowing Stanley and the schedule the overseer has him on, the problem isn't likely to get better anytime soon, so it's aspirin indefinitely. Amada. Once again, the overseer has insisted on being in the room for Amada's examination, throwing any inkling of doctor-patient confidentiality right out the window. I know he doesn't trust me, he never has, but I honestly believe the reason he attends his daughter's medical appointments is because he doesn't trust her. That's as ridiculous as it is sad. Amada's a great girl, and the chance of her doing something stupid pregnancy syphilis whatever is so unlikely it's not even worth mentioning experiments experiment 27 ce the cells are still re replicating normally no mutation thank god if whatever's out there could pregnate or penetrate this vault i can't even begin to imagine what the overseer would do experiment pp216 after borrowing a few more water chips and rerouting some of the power here in the clinic, I've finally been able to affect the latest sample. It's not much, but considering what I have to work with, a definite step in the right direction. But this new experiment was also monumental for another reason. It's the first time Jonas has assisted me. He suspected forever, I know, so I guess it was inevitable. And his help has been invaluable. I just hope he knows what he's gotten himself into. Ooh. Take earnings clipboard. There we go. Bobblehead. Yes. 
you found a vault tech limited edition bobblehead this inscription on the base reads the smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds the medicine skill has been permanently increased by 10 cool Take the hot plate. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. How's things? Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going over them. Something you're worried about? I'd just like to keep an eye on it. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Sounds good. Let me know if there are any changes. Morning. Hey, 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 sport. It's been a while since you stopped in here to see us. It's the big goat day today, right? Yeah, big goat. Oh, open toolbox. Conductor, paint gun, sensor module. Take it all. There we go. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week? It's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. That's still bothering you. Hmm. Well, I can run a few more tests if you like. Yes, I think I'd like that. Will it take long? Oh, shouldn't be too long. I just need to get things set up for you. Just sit tight and I'll be with you as soon as I can. Hey. <coughs> you better stay away. I don't want you to catch what I've got. Okay, well, we did read about Stanley's stuff, so. Ooh, bone saw. I don't know why I'm taking any of this stuff. Ooh, scissors. Oh, oh, hold on. Eh. Will you stop? Holy crap, this it's so sensitive. There you go. Ooh, stim pack. Tweezers. Empty syringe. I don't really need empty syringe. Forceps. Scalpel. They're going to be wondering where everything is missing. Empty, empty. Okay. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. I can show you a real tunnel snake. Andy. What is it now, sir? Daddy's girl, daddy's daddy girl. On us. Go away, you stupid tunnel snakes. Yeah? What do you want? What's going on here? It looks like you're having fun. Hey, it's none of my business. Tunnel snakes, you guys are some kind of gang. Is that it? What's going on? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is going to come down on your gang. Leave her alone or you'll answer to me. Uh, maybe I can help. She's very sensitive about her weight. Oh, uh, I'll do the speech. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Ooh. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. What hey, is it, Susie, feed? What's new? Oh, not much. Thanks for getting rid of them. Tch, assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Thanks for getting rid of them. Oh. Our heaters I mean... Again. Yeah, probably. Didn't you just get new parts for it last week? Yeah, sure did. But the thing is so old, my grandpa had... Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me. It really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Oh, I'm feeling kind of sick, Mr. B. I guess I'll have to reschedule. Sure, I'm ready. I bet I'll ace it. Come on. I don't really have to take this stupid test. Sure, I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. You don't want to be the first class in history to fail the goat, do you? You again. What did I tell you about talking to me, huh? We'll talk to you a little piece of the nerd from later. <laughs> We're not friends. We're never going to be friends. Got it? Damn. Oh, hi. 
Why are you talking to me? Go ahead, take a seat so we can start. You nervous? I'm not. Thanks for getting rid of them. Oh, again. Back. Look, Square, I already told you. We got nothing to say to each other. Okay. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking. And keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Um, what? But well, doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the whatever? Yup, yours too, buddy. Say nothing but grab a nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head and knock him out. Probably you knew he was planning to blow up the vault, say nothing but slip away before the scientist can continue his rant. I'll just say this one. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Uh, amputate the foot before the inf infection spreads, scream for help. Medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities. Restrain the patient and merely observe the infection spreads. Uh, medicate infected area to the best of your abilities. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Um... Give the boy a hug, tell him everything will be okay, confiscate the stolen property by force, and leave the boy there as punishment. Pick the boy's pocket to take the stolen property for yourself and leave him to his fate. Lead the boy to safety and turn him into the overseer. Either one or four. Um... um Hmm. I'll do this one. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Pitcher, catcher, designated hitter, none you wish the Vault had a soccer team. Uh I could be the hitter. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Obey your elder and kill the resident with the pistol, offer your most prized possession for the resident's life, ask Gant Granny for a minigun instead, after all you don't want to miss. Throw your tea in Granny's face. Oh. Offer your most prized possession for the residents. I mean, I'm not going to kill somebody randomly. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. And you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door. Trade a vault hood hoodlum for his cherry bomb and blow the door open. Go to the armory, retrieve a laser pistol, shoot the lock off, walk away and let the old coot rot. Bobby pen uh, to pick the lock on the door. Question 7. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Bullet to the brain, large doses of anti-mu- mutagen agent prayer maybe god will spare you in exchange for a life of pious devotion removal of the mutated tissue with a precision laser um wouldn't the laser be better i don't know i'll just take the anti-mutant 
Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book. Issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Sneak into the resident's quarters and steal the comic book from his desk. Slip some knockout drops into the resident's Nuka-Cola and take the comic book when he's unconscious. I'll trade. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Loosen the bolts on some pipes. When the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. Put a firecracker in the toilet. That's sure to cause some chaos. Break into the locked medicine cabinet and replace his high blood pressure medicine with sugar pills. Manipulate the power wattage on his razor so he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. A uh, firecracker sounds like the least damaging, provided it's a tiny one and not like one that will blow the toilet. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. What the heck? The overseer. Wouldn't a doctor be more? I don't know. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Okay. Guess I'm done. Uh, hi. Uh, why are you talking to me? All finished? They say the goat never lies. According to this, you're slated to be the next vault chaplain. God help us all. <laughs> wow, that's what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally coming true. Whatever I just an answered randomly, is that how you got stuck with your job? That can't be right. The stupid test got it all wrong. Um, sure. That's what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally coming true. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Sure. Um... <sighs> barter skill affects prices for buying and selling items. Okay. I want lockpick though. Medicine skill determines how many hit points you'll replenish upon using a stim pack. Ooh. Ooh. Speech. I, I want... Lockpick. And science. Yeah, lockpick. Science. And speech. That sounds better. I've got other things to do. Here you are, Exit. Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Elmore. Thanks. Oh. Anything is possible, even an A. Three years later. Selfish and insubordinate. Wake up! Come on, wake up! I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! Huh? What's wrong, Amada? How weird. I was just dreaming about you. Leave me alone. I was trying to get some sleep. What's wrong? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you. 
What do you mean my dad is gone? Good for dad about time someone stood up to the overseer. No offense. Big deal. Your dad's mad at my dad. What's that got to do with me? What do you mean my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. I've never seen you so scared, Amato. What's happened? Dad couldn't have really left the vault. That's impossible. So Mr. Paranoid has finally gone over the edge. I've never seen you so scared, Amato. What's happened? It's Jonas! <clears throat> they killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Oh my god, are you okay? You're not going to cry, are you? So they killed Jonas and I'm um, next. Is that it? Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. My dad can't have left the doors sealed shut. You're right, I can't stay here, but where can I go? You're the overseer's daughter, can't you fix this? Even if that's all true, how did you get here first? I need to escape the vault and you're gonna help me. Can't you fix this? Not this time. My father, he's not listening to anybody. If he even finds out that I've been helping you? But that doesn't matter. I can take care of myself. It's you he's looking for. And I have a plan. I know how to get you out of the vault. Well. I, I think it'll work. Escape the vault? How? Not another one of your plans, Amada. I don't need help from anyone, especially not from the Overseer's daughter. No. Escape the vault? How? Listen. There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. That sounds awfully complicated. Why can't I just get out the normal way? What makes you think this tunnel won't be guarded? It could be a trap. We don't have time for this! Trust me, security doesn't know about the tunnel. Just my father, and me. Maybe this pistol I stole from my father will make you feel better. Go ahead, take it. And then let's get out of here. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort, I promise. Nice, this will come in handy if I run into any of your father's goons. No, you keep it. You may need it more than I do. Well, okay. I guess it may come in handy if I run into any rad roaches. All right. I just I'll gave it to her. To oh my god. Exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. I just gave her the pistol. That's actually I'll dumb. The if I can, but don't wait for me. Got some BBs. Um I'm going to take that. Just in case. Never know. <clears throat> um, let's see. BB gun. Apparently I can repair these, which is good. There you go. But I want to... Hmm. I don't know. What am I doing now? Okay. Oops. There we go. There he is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. Get it off me. What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? Ugh. I mean, I'll let him go attack him. Oh. Damn roaches. Where do they keep coming from? Got your now. This is the overseer. Uh -oh. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Come on, let's go see if we can help her. Butch asking me for help. If only you knew what irony meant. Sorry, Butch, got my own problems to deal with right now. Fuck off, I'm not gonna help you. Ooh, come on, let's go see if we can help no, her. No, I can't go back in there. It's... it's dark. And there's rat roaches. Don't worry, Butch, I'll get your mom out of there. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best. Gotcha oh. Now. Oh. Oh, 
I don't want to do that. What the heck? Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Ow, that hurts. Ah! What's happening? Ow, that hurts. Ah. Okay. Okay, I don't know. She's being attacked. I gotta help. Oh, she was just killed. Oh my god, really? I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait. Thank you. Why'd she have to die, really? She must have nothing. Oh. Oh, I need the baseball bat again. There he is. Hold it right there. How do I run? Crime, more roaches. But I don't know how to run. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped! Okay. There you go, that's what I wanted. Come on. There you go, body. Oh. Oh, wow. I suck at this. There you go. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey! I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. Okay, thanks. Best friend, really. Oops. I could really use a drink right now. Can't even talk to her, okay. Um. There he is. Oh. I'm gonna close the door on him. Stop in the name of the overseer. I don't know how to run. And I think I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I shot him. Oh, it's this place. Oh, shoot. Hey, at least, at least this works. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you, and I'll pretend you don't work for a homicidal maniac. As far as I'm concerned, you're the murderer just like the rest of them. Oh, I've always liked you. That's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go we'll find your dad if you can. Thank you. Whoa. The heck? Oh. Oh. Let's go back to our quarters. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me. Ow! You Be piece careful. of ooh. 
They just killed him. Oh, they just killed her too. Oh, shoot. Damn, he's gone crazy. The overseer, I should say. Ow. You piece of crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn it. What? How do I get over there? Oh. Gotcha. Apparently I can sneak. I don't know if that's going to help though. Can I help them? Like, they're stuck in that room, but can I help them? Guard. Ow! Oh, you piece of crap. Oh, never mind. He's trying to tell on me. How do I run? Is there actually no way of running? Punishment for treason is death. Dare you threaten me? And with my own gun, I'm your father. Ah. You and you'll show me some respect. Officer Mac, don't just stand there. Don't make me take that gun away from you, girl. Oh. Just hand it over, nice and easy now. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. I think I'm bleeding. <laughs> Come on, come on. Finally found how how to block. Got him. He's here. Don't. Oh heck yeah! I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. Give me the keys to your office and your password, then I'll be going. If you ever lay a hand on Amada again, I'll make you regret it. I'm here to kill you. Jonas was my friend. If you ever lay a hand on Amada, I'll make you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amada will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amata, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Is that what you said to Jonas before you killed him? Time to die, old man. Just give me the keys to your office and your password. I'll be going. My father's no traitor, but you're a murderer and a thug. All right, do it your way. I surrender. Give him all your weapons. Ooh. Give me your keys to your office and your password, I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. You're right, you will die if you don't give me that password. I'm out of trust me. If you don't give me what I want, I'll hurt or bad. I'll escape without your help, and then I'm not the one who started killing people. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place, and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! Oh. Pickpocket. Can I pickpocket him? Dang. Damn it. Or 
Where am I supposed to go? This way. Anything in here? Oh, weapon locker. Yes. Guard, help. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff on. Okay, first, repair these. Wait, wait, utility jumpsuit. That looks better. So I want to repair this one. Yes, yes. There we go. And then take these jumpsuits and repair those. No? Yeah, there you go. And then repair some of the armor. Oh, you can't. Okay. Put that on and put a helmet on. There we go. That's good. Police baton. Ooh. There you go. Okay. You're good. Can I go in there? Is that the way to go? I think. Maybe. Oh, Jonas. Ooh, note from dad. Ooh, okay. I'll take a stem pack, yes, and a note from dad. Um, would that be in data? Yes. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Ooh. Open desk. Pre-war money, wonder glue, carton of cigarettes, sure. Okay, I think I know how to do this one. Oh. Oh. Got it. Use the overseer's computer to access the secret tunnel, okay. Is it 5250 Probably not. Oh, yes. I don't know what that is. Okay, sure. Oh, the password. I'm not going to take it just in case. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Okay. Four attempts. Dried. Three out of five correct. Okay. If dried is correct, would... Brief. Ooh, that one's wrong too. Fried? Or uh, free... Fries. Oh, okay. One chance. Fry. F R I E S. Tries. Got it. View security 
dossiers, tunnel snakes. If Butch and his leather-clad delinquents across Amada one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their aer or ac acerbic teacher. Their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit, but they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. Beatrice, just what Vault 101 needs, an absent-minded, sexually repressed sycophant. Beatrice has served Vault 101 admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. Jonas. I never should have assigned Jonas as James's assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Amada. Every time I try to get Amada to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this vault what it is today loyalty honesty commitment and hard work she does try and with a lot of guidance has grown into a fine young woman that makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me she looks at me and sees the overseer not the father that has cared for her alone alone since she was an infant scouting reports Report 2241-0210. As our test suggested, the immediate vicinity of the vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the background radiation is still well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to still be common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry ample supplies of radex with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless. The town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. We encountered a group of monstrous ants which appeared to confirm Mackey's theories of mutation due to extended exposure of radiation. We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for study upon return to the vault. The good news is that human civilization still survives despite everything. We discovered settlement known as Megaton, whose inhabitants, although somewhat weary at first, soon welcomed us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the capital wasteland, as the area around Washington, D.C. is now called from them. Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization of sorts, but it seems the giant ants are the least of the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey plans in light of what we have learned. Lewis and Agnes remain in Megaton to serve as ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. Ann Palmer, survey team leader, February 10th, twenty. Uh, 2,241. Next report, Exhibit A. That's the ant. <clears throat> exhibit B, I'm assuming Megaton. Uh, vault Tech Instructions. Letter from Dr. Stanislas Braun. Letter the Overseer from, doctor, from the Doctor. If you're reading this, Emergency Vault Inter... Internment procedures have been initiated and you are you and your control group have been sealed into your vault. Congratulations. You are now a vital part uh, of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by Vault Tech. If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for termination by Vault Tech Corporation as outlined in your employment agreement. Your vault may or may not have been sealed to receive a GEC module. Please see attachment A for details. Doctor. Okay. 
Attachment A. Vault 101 has will not receive a GEC module and should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the Overseer's Sealed Orders. Vault Tech's scientific entry, the GEC. The GEC is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by Vault Tech, a terraforming module capability of creating life from complete lifelessness. After riding out the storm of nuclear Armageddon in a Vault Tech pat patented vault, Residents can then activate the GEC and create a new earthern paradise. Craters, craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, due to time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a GEC module. Wow. Open Overseer's Tunnel. Okay. Now I'm gonna open. Now I'm gonna take the password now. Oh, let's see. What is the the password? Is Amada? That's it. Actually, not what the password was at all. But okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I should probably do that again. Where is Amada anyway? She needs to be here. Shouldn't she be here? Where is she? Oh, I didn't even go over here. Why didn't I explore this area yet? Ooh, bobby pen. Yes! I am so glad I went back in here. I need bobby pens. Those are very important for lock picking. With as little as I know about this game. Ooh, nice. Overseer office key. Okay, cool. Even though I don't really need it anymore, but yeah, that works. Hmm. Is that it? That might be it. I don't see her anywhere. Thank you, Overseer. Damn. That guy treated himself like a god, pretty much. Knockout. Oh yeah, I should probably save, right? Just in case. <coughs> you just never know. I still don't know how to run. Isn't there supposed to be a flash flashlight or something? No flashlight? It's dark. There's the vault. Okay. Oh. There you are. Yeah, I opened it. Are you coming? You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. I couldn't have done it without your help. When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I didn't need your help. Go back to you. Wow. Couldn't have done it without your help. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. 
I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... for, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Wow. You've got to get out of here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know how to run. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Oh, putting that away actually helps. Ooh, edit name, edit... No, I think I'm good. That was loud. Quest completed. Escape. Level up. Uh. Yes. Hundred percent lockpick. Ooh. What? Choose one perk. Just like your dear old dad, you've devoted your time to intellectual pursuits. You gain an additional five points to both science and medicine. You're obsessing with using and maintenance, maintaining a wide variety of conventional firearms. With each rank of the gun nut perk, you gain an additional five points in small guns and repair. Intense training. With intense training perk, you can put a single point in any of your special attributes. Okay. Lady killer. In combat, you do 10% damage against female opponent. What the heck? Okay. Outside of that, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue ob options when dealing with the opposite sex. Little League, Gears of the Vault, Little League, MVP with honing, honed your hitting and throwing with every rank. You gain five points to melee weapons and five points to explode. Okay. Uh, Swift Learner, with each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% to total experience points whenever experience points are earned. Ooh. Or Thief. Each rank of the Thief perk gains an immediate bonus of 5 points to both the Sneak and Lockpick skills. Should I do that? Ooh. Gain 1 point in whatever skill book is read. Ooh. I kind of like these. I hope you can eventually level everything up, but my guess is you probably can't. I'm going to say Thief for now, because I need my lockpick skills and stuff uh, increased as best as I can. Got it. So, can I look at the... Stats. Lockpick is at 54 now. Okay, good. Good. Because I know doors and containers and all that stuff is everywhere. I mean, I've played Skyrim enough to, to have seen that. <sighs> Point Lookout, a riverboat has docked at the mouth of the Potomac, carrying trade from the distant peninsula of Point Lookout. The captain offers passage to Point Lookout for any mer mercenary treasure hunter or adventurer looking to explore the new land okay i'm assuming that was um from the dlc or something i don't know anyway that is it for this video um very very long i know uh, but yeah that is it thank you so much for watching and i'll enter the pit there are reports of a new radio message being broadcast across the capital wasteland the transmission appears to be some sort of distress call and gives little information except the location name of the man making the plea okay interesting um again yeah the in episode two there'll be more um actual exploration of the game that was all of that was just like tutorial stuff pretty much by the looks of it uh so yeah oh my gosh mother sip zeta a new radio broadcast is and heard across the capital wasteland while completely unintelligible it sounds ominous okay thanks so much for watching oh my gosh broken seal loaded broken seal has been loaded your level cap has been raised to 30 nice is that it i'll see you guys 
again next time. Stay tuned for episode two. Bye.